Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to give you some encouragement. Um, I hope you are having a blessed day. This is, um, like about an hour after Thanksgiving passed. Um, uh, one of the things I'm thankful for is, uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm a sinner. I'm a broken sinner. God I ask God to try to help me with that sin, but I still sin every day. I do not deserve God's love. Nobody deserves God's love, but God still loves us. God loves us unconditionally, and, and I don't deserve that, and I know that. But I absolutely love Jesus for what he's done for me, and I'm think that's probably the most thing I'm thankful for. So we're going to read a bit of Romans 5 today. So we're going to read Romans 5. We're going to give you a lesson. And then we're going to pray. So Romans 5. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ through whom we have gained access by faith to the grace in which we stand, not boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, knowing that affliction pro produces endurance, and endurance, proven character, and not proven character, hope. Hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts. And through the Holy Spirit has given us God's love does not disappoint is what that verse just said. Verse 6. For Christ, while we still are helpless, yet died in appointed time for our ungodly. God died for us for ungodly human beings when we are ungodly. Indeed, only difficulty does it die. One die for just a person. Perhaps a good person might even find a courage to die. For God proves his love for us that while we are sinners, Christ died for us. So that was like about eight verses. The, the first eight verses of Romans 5. And it was, it was talking about Jesus, if you couldn't realize. Jesus it was talking about how we are broken human beings and Jesus still died for us and still loves us unconditionally. It was talking about how we do not deserve an ounce of his love and yet we still get it because we're given grace through faith. The last couple of videos I've talked about St. Thomas Aquinas. Um, how you can't see God. That's why you need to have faith to go to heaven. But now we're talking about um, how we are broken human beings. We need, we need to acknowledge that we're broken human beings. And then we need to... And then we need to pour it out to... And then we need to pour it out to Jesus. Say, Jesus, I need your help. I'm a broken human. I thank you for dying on the cross for me. For, for, to forgive my sins. So please forgive my sins. Let's move on. Guys, we are we are broken human beings. We need Jesus' love. We need a savior to be in heaven. Um, you have to have a sacrifice to get to heaven. And that's what Jesus is. Alright, so can I pray for us really quick? Um, tomorrow's video will most likely be a continuation in Romans. Um, I, I actually enjoy it reading the book of Romans. I think it's a great book to read to strengthen your faith with Jesus Christ. Alright, so let's pray. And it should only be about five minutes. Dear God, I thank you for who you are. I thank you for this day. I thank you for each breath you breathe into our lungs. God, I thank you for thanksgiving i thank you for being able to gather with friends and family even though some of us may not have been able to due to COVID 19 i ask for deliverance from COVID 19 and i pray for anybody affected by COVID 19. 
God, we are broken sinners, like Romans 5, 8 says, and yet you still love us unconditionally, and you still die for us. We are broken human beings. We need a perfect Savior's love. Jesus, be that Savior in our life. I don't know whether the person on the other side of this phone, God, has accepted you into their life, but if they have or haven't, I just ask that you work in their life, work with your plan in their life, allow them to fully accept you as their Lord and Savior, and move on with their life as a new person, born again. The old has passed away, behold a new creation, Jeremiah 29. God, for Thanksgiving, we should be most grateful for you dying on the cross for us, because nobody on this planet deserves that but you. Nobody on this planet deserves that love but you. But we as broken human beings get that love when we shouldn't. God, I thank you for the technology allowing us to spread the gospel. It's quite easy to do it nowadays. Um, so I thank you for that. God, we are sinful human beings. We all, we acknowledge that. Like Romans 5, 8 says. But God, we ask for f deliverance of those sins, lust, envy, jealousy, adultery, murder, gluttony, lying, bragging, swearing, cursing, unbelief in you. God, we ask for deliverance of these sins. We ask for forgiveness of these sins. We ask that you help us hate our sin, and we ask that you help us turn away from that sin next time. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving us. God, we thank you for everything you've blessed in us in our life, for a roof over our head, a cell phone to watch this video on, a refrigerator get to get food and water out of, a family, or friends a school or a job. We thank you for all these things. God, we thank you for the opportunity to be your people, even though we are broken humans. We thank you for the opportunity to be reading your word, because now it is easier than ever to read your word. God, for our sins, we ask that you help us you guide our thoughts Move us away from lust and porn, but bring us closer to you. We ask that you guide our thoughts. We ask that you guide our tongues. Help us not to swear. And we ask that you guide our actions. Help us to be kind to one another through our actions. God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is such a big part in our life. We ask that the Holy Spirit will conquer Satan, which we know in the end that will happen. We ask that you give us the motivation of the crown of life to help us not to sin. Because if we do not sin, we will get that crown of life, God. That not sinning, we need motivation to not sin because we want to sin. It's human nature to want to sin. God, I thank you for everything you've done in my life. Whenever I think of you, I think of love. I think of unconditional love. I thank you for everything. I can't wait to spend eternity with you in heaven god i put all my faith and trust in you every single ounce of my faith i have in my body in my heart in my soul i give it to you help me to treat others as i was treat them and help me to obey the ten commandments and obey your law because i need to obey my creator i can't wait to spend per eternity with you in heaven jesus i i pray that whether the person on the other side of this phone is a believer or not, I pray that um, I get to meet them in heaven too. And it's in your son's name. I pray all of these things. Amen. God bless you. Have a good night. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless America.